Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. I was at Shirikam Island over the weekend to meet volunteers who gathered to clean up the beach. Here's my report. Ropes, beer cans, fishing gear. Some of the items volunteers found at the St. Pierre Beach on Shirikam Island. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Over 15 people of different ages showed up to a shoreline cleanup co-organized by several groups, including the Cape Breton Environmental Association, the Council of Canadians, Community Matters, and more. The main reason everyone was there to show their love for the region's natural beauty and community. I'm here. I love the beach. I walk the beach every day. I'm here to help clean up this environment. Um, I just I love the beach. And I think we should all be responsible for helping to keep our environment clean. C'est notre plage en premièrement. Oui, on a des touristes, uh, des visiteurs, mais c'est notre plage plutôt que tout autre. Et il faut prendre responsa responsabilité de votre propre environnement. Et uh, je, je crois là, ça très sincèrement. Alors, je peux mettre mes, mes mains avec mes, 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 mes mots. In total, volunteers filled up 22 bags with objects that seem to reflect our area and our times. The types of plastics that we find on the shoreline really varies between areas. So in uh, the CBRM, for instance, we tend to find a lot of fishing related debris. So anything from ropes to buoys to tire hole lobster traps. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we removed 140 lobster traps off a shoreline in New Victoria. So, yeah, it really varies, but uh, we, we do tend to find a lot of plastic bottles, uh, single-use items, you know, straws, color, cutlery, um, and, but we also find stuff like plastic bags, and, um, yeah, it's, it, it kind of varies between shorelines, but you can really find just about anything on the shoreline these days, any types of plastics, you name it. And uh, you can even find clothing like shoes, uh, vehicle tires. We've, we basically come across anything you can imagine on a shoreline. And we are starting to see an increase of medical masks and uh, nylon gloves as well. The project doesn't only serve to clean up the beach. Garbage is studied to better understand marine pollution, which is harmful to wildlife. One of the major things with marine debris that we're looking at is uh, surveying some different shorelines around the CBRM. Uh, so we're going to be looking to see what kind of different items we find, uh, you know, what's causing the biggest issue, uh, where we think it's coming from, and different issues like that. Helped financially by the municipality of Inverness, the beach cleanup was the first in Shady Camp. Organizers said the event also helps to test the community's interest before planning others. Would you like to see more coastline cleanups in the area? You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.